Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this video, hope you guys are doing well. We are going camping at some point in the future. I have no idea when. I figured I might as well get things prepped and ready for when we do. So I've got to chuck tub rack back on. Um, I'm gonna re-drill these holes and put the nut sets in all of them instead of just the ones at the back. When I was trying to take it off last time, it was a pain in the back sides. I have actually started making these holes a little bit bigger. I'm gonna file them out and everything, but that way it shouldn't push so much on the tub. And we'll chuck the tent back on. Need to fix the dual battery setup. Um, so my charger shit itself. Um, funds are pretty tight right now, so I'll probably, I'll hit up Kings and try out one of theirs and see if it lasts. So they're about 300 bucks or something like that. But we'll give it a go. Yeah, um, it's super windy today, so I won't be doing too much talking. But yeah, let's get cracking. Next day. Before I go any further with this, I need to go get the tent. Um, so it's at my parents' house, and I think you guys ever at my parents. So I will um, head out there and go grab the tent because, yeah, I don't have a lot of room in here to keep a tent unless it's on the nav itself. Yeah, let's go get the tent. Spotify coming up with the fucking goods on the way out to Highfields. Let's get the rack back on, hey? This is actually going to take me 400 years to tighten up all these bolts. I have absolutely reamed this one. I don't know if you can see it, but it is spinning the nuts out. <sighs> and I am, for now, just going to leave it, which I know is terrible, but I don't actually have a way to get it out. Um, I've tried a few things like putting pressure on the rib nut, heating it up and everything, but she's fully stuck. Um, so it might just be a lever there for now, and then when I take it off, at some point in time. In the future, deal with it then. One spinny bolt grinded off. So now I should be able to take the rack off and then I'll have to drill that bastard out. The next day. We've got the rack back on. I may or may not have grinded a little bit of the tub. That is my bad. I had to drill it out. So I just used the 13 mil bit again to drill it out. This is what's left of the nut set that was in there. When I was drilling it, um, it sort of ruined the hole a little bit more. So this one is actually clamped on with a nut underneath, unlike the other ones, which 
I guess in some sort of way, it's kind of like a security measure we could take away as like a positive from it. Um, and that is the first bolt I've ever actually had to drill out before. And I do not recommend anyone ever getting in a situation where you need to do that because that was bloody annoying. So now I need to get the bolts on the bottom of the tent sorted. find a bumpy road somewhere just to test it all out make sure she's gonna stay on there pretty confident it's not gonna come off it's been a while since I've seen it down like this stopped in at King's on the way home and was advertised at $300. I was fully committing to spending $300 and they said if you buy it with a six meter solar lead, it's half price. So 150 bucks for a charger. You can't argue with that. So I'm gonna test out the King's one because the kick-ass one shit itself. I have since found out looking at the Navara forums that the Series 4 doesn't actually have a smart alternator. The ignition wire that I had wired up in the old charger, I don't think that would be why it shit itself. Because all it does is it, tell, it tells the charger when to charge. But I don't know. So I'm going to disconnect that and not use the ignition wire for this charger and see if that makes a difference. Don't know if it will. We'll get the back seat out and get the battery back in where it was. Wire it all up and it should be happy days. so low actually won't charge off anything which is fair enough because so I can trick it by plugging the solar straight into the battery and then I'm plugging it plugging it all in and it thinks it has charge but then as soon as it trickles back down to under four volts it stops charging so that means I need to charge the battery which I probably should have done and I shouldn't have let it drop that low so yes I do know that that has probably damaged the battery. Should have bought a battery charger when I was at four drive super center. The next day. All right guys, we're gonna wrap up the video there. The NAS back in camp mode is looking pretty good. Uh, the battery's charging away, so hopefully that'll fix that issue. But Sam, are you glad it's back in camp mode? Yeah, I feel like it's missing something though. What do you mean? I don't know, it's missing something.